Well, you wanted a piece of art. There. You got it. Sure as hell wasn't cheap. But I guess that's the price you have to pay in order to have peace in this household. <laughs> Can't say I understand it. But we bought it. We sure did. And now we're going to have to live with it. Right, Hilda? Hilda? I want that painting down. Excuse me? I want that painting down. You want that painting down. That's just what I said. <laughs> I don't know what you mean, Hilda. Uh, you want that painting down? That's exactly what I just said. I, I thought you said it was fine where it is. It's worn out at Swampin' Bell. Worn out is welcome. <laughs> we just put it up there. Well, I want it down. You're not joking. Does it look like I'm joking? Well, where do you think we should put it? Put it? No, I want it out of the house. Out of the house? You're kidding me. No, I'm not kidding. And you're beginning to sound like a parrot. Well, we pay good money for it. Oh, tough tomatoes. This is preposterous. Call it what you will. Isn't this a rash decision? It's been on my mind for quite some time. It has? Well, for God's sakes, why didn't you mention it sooner? Because I knew how much it meant to you. Meant to me? <laughs> the truth is, I never liked it. Well, the truth is, I only liked it because you liked it. Well, I guess we both know something new. Well, this is a fine how do you do, and at a hell of a time. It's bought, it's paid for, and it's hanging there. Every morning when I looked up at it, I waited for this day. Every morning that I was plagued by its malevolent gaze, I prayed for the strength of this moment. This is incredible. Every meal we've endured here has been haunted under its hideous realm. Unbelievable. I believe it, and you better, because you're going to do something about it. No, not so fast. Um, now that I think about it, I, it's kind of grown on me. I mean, you, you have to admit it's not the worst thing in the world, and I think I can live with it. <laughs> That's the problem. You have and you always will. It will stay there forever unless I do something about it. But we bought it together, Hilda. I thought we admired it together. I think we admired each other admiring it. Huh. I merely fell in line for your sake. What? Why would you do that? <laughs> because you're my husband. Since when does that matter? If you could have only saw the fire in your eyes. Uh, yeah, to get the hell out of there. I saw undeniable passion. You saw a plan of flight. Oh yeah, where was a mirror when we needed one? So, what other unsung bits of opinion do I have in store for me, huh? The, where the smoke is fired. I just, I want that painting gone. So there's no other hidden agendas? If there is, believe me, you'll be the first to know. Hmm. All right. So, good. Because I wouldn't want you to live under the veil of any further deceit. Believe me, if there was, you'd be the first to know. So the painting really has to go. If you want a happy home. Fine. We'll leave it at that. No, no, we won't. What would we have then? Uh, a blank wall? A chilling emptiness? A screaming vacuity? <laughs> We'd be right back where we started. If you like. I don't. That's why we got the painting in the first place. Well, you're the one with all the big ideas. What do you suggest? I almost dare not to say. Please. 
I must say that you do possess a, an air of undoubted familiarity. We should. You possess about four of my paychecks. <laughs> and, you, sir, and you, sir, possess an indelible sense of humor. Oh, oh, yes, now I do recognize you, and it's so good to see you again and so soon. That your sudden reappearance here must indicate your immense pleasure with your first acquisition. Uh, we... We wanted to see if you had any additional offers. Oh, well, of course you do. And I trust you're thoroughly enjoying your first acquisition. Well. We thought. Well. Don't fill me. You had a hand in this as much as I did. Well, well, you couldn't have been dissatisfied with my work. <laughs> uh, well, let's just say, like I said, we're interested in looking at an additional offer. Well, oh, undoubtedly. Everyone. Possibly. Do I sense an air of discordancy? Ah, uh, but sometimes a robust dichotomy is a good thing. Why at times even necessary? In fact, to destroy is to create, to lay waste is to fix up again. It is the indisputable cycle of life. Why, if I ever get a chance to create more works. I am always so thrilled. Look, sister, we, we didn't come here to uh, listen to any of your philosophical discourse. We're just here to look at another painting. Oh, so you do wish to buy another painting? Not exactly. Uh, we're not interested in looking at a new work. We're interested in trading on one end. Oh. What? Well, this isn't a used car lot. <laughs> what? It, it, trade a painting? It, why, that is unheard of. Oh, well, clean the wax out of your ears, sister. <laughs> this, is, this is not just some depraved haven for rummage sale barters. After one of my masterpieces has taken flight from the design of my determined aesthetic, and its bludgeoning wings carried into the world, it shall never again perch in my lair. In fact, once I've sold it, I have sold it. And I have never been so insulted in all of my life. I doubt that, sister. I beg your pardon. Look, we're very sorry. He didn't mean it. Didn't mean it? Of course he meant it. He said it. He says a lot of things. Sometimes he doesn't know the difference between a red light and a green light, if you know what I mean. Mm. Uh, yes, we would like to see a new painting. Well, I confess this is all just a bit too much for me. Uh, this sword, this sword of disdain cuts deep. My work has not, is not, and will not be subject to vague and contemptuous, uh, contemptuous thoughts, not in its menial, in its contemptuous origin. We cannot apologize enough, madam. Well, you certainly cannot. Well, you have to understand, a bill is a passionate man, and those passions run deep, and it is those passions that brought him here in the first place. Oh, and your cliches run deep. I will not let their veil of platitudinous nature mock my better efforts. What the heck did you just say? <laughs> well, perhaps it is all in our best interest to step back and begin at the beginning. Let me better understand this. So it is your firm contention that you have derived no satisfaction from one of my paintings? Hell, I could have lived with it. I'm afraid the consensus is otherwise. Consensus? What about you? What about me? Oh, to heck with this nonsense. Uh, just show us what you have behind the curtain, sister. Well, let us not be so hasty here. Perhaps we should indulge in a little bit of context, shall we? A little bit of what? Well, please. Did it not set well on one of your wonderful walls? Well, it 
sad, but that's about it. I'm afraid it didn't speak to me. It, I'm afraid it had no voice. It just didn't speak to me. Since when is a painting supposed to have a voice? No, oh, really, Billy. You know damn well what I mean. It just didn't do it for me. I found it rather, rather, rather unfascinating. Unfascinating. <laughs> to verbalize its manifestations in such highly inappropriate times and places, then, for the truth is our eternal quest, our infinite purpose, our, well, anyway, these three new masterpieces will certainly bring about and testify to the undeniable catch-all of... Look, look, cosmic exaltations aside, we've come here to see the goods. Well, why, of course, and <laughs> rightfully so, and I do such, take such immense delight in, in offering you one of my latest masterpieces. Yes. And these are the greatest innovations, the greatest creations, the most far-reaching, heart-rending, mind-expanding, incalculable metaphors of our time. Wait a minute. I, I don't have the money for incalculable metaphors. <laughs> well, how can you broach the subject of money in the face of such great art? I thought that was the point. Well, of course, there is a price. There sure was last time. Bill, you mustn't talk like that. I can and will, and in this economy, I must. Great art transcends all physical constraints. Yeah, well, my wallet doesn't. <laughs> Bill, must money always be an issue? Hell yes, when is my money we're talking about? Now, we haven't even seen the paintings yet. Well, let's get on with the show. Well, yes. As you say, let's get on with the show. What we have here is the... Uh, no, no, no. We, we've gone over this already. Well, I never. Well, I have, and I don't like it. <laughs> Come on. We, I don't have all day. Show us something or, before I change my mind. You can't change your mind. Bill, I'm telling you this. I'm leaving here with something if I have to crawl out of here with it. Yes, please, show us your latest masterworks. Well, that's more like it. <laughs> I will have you know that you are the very first patrons, the very first eyes to gaze on these undoubtedly contemporary masterpieces. We're so very honored. Well, and you should be. <laughs> I mean, we're looking for something warm, something comforting, something artistic that will Fill our eyes with pleasure and our hearts with joy. Well, yes, of course. And now let us bring a sense of levity to the proceedings to offset all of these weighty discussions. Now, all on the count of three. One, One two, two, three. three. it's right before your very eyes. And that's what's absurd. Just exactly what is before my eyes. Well, you tell me what is before your very eyes. I see squares and rectangles. Hell, I could have did this myself. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't, Emma. May I remind you that that is what they all think. 
except that you possess the abominable nerve to articulate that vastly inferior statement. It's almost too much. Too much? It's a static famine. It's geometrical malaise. Well, I didn't know you had it in you. I didn't, until I came across this character. <laughs> oh, the nerve. But he's right. It just wouldn't do. In no way, shape, or form. No pun intended. <laughs> yes, I'm afraid we'll have to move on from here. Well, do not be afraid, for not everything is for everyone. Perhaps, as you say, we shall move on. I have worked quite laboriously on this endeavor, and assuredly you shall appreciate this job. respects the contours of informed comprehension. Well, if you can dish it out, you certainly better be able to take it. What? It could be anything. <laughs> That's what scares me. Well, we have one more work left. <laughs> but what if? What if what? Uh, what if it's even worse? Even worse? I mean, undesirable. Undesirable? What? <laughs> How can you say that? Why, this woman has worked her whole life to get to this point. Oh, you who insult me before do not take pity on me now. <laughs> I haven't insulted you. I've merely been protecting my pocketbook, and rightfully so. Look, sister, if there's pity you seek, you won't get any from me. And you certainly won't get any from her. And secondly, if I wasn't in the habit of watching my dough, I wouldn't be in a position to deal with this madness. I do not understand you. This is all falling apart before my very eyes. Cut the drama, Tuts. It's not as bad as you think. It's, you really got caught up in the daily crossfire. Nothing more, nothing less. It happens every day. Believe me, you're going to leave here without a scratch. Look, we still respect you as an artist, but he's right. Business is business. And what does all of this mean? What it means is you have one chance left, and this stunning painting isn't it. If I have to crawl out of here with something, it better be good. Phil, that's a horrendous point of view. Funny, you said that yourself. Well, please, you know, occasionally, time becomes as valuable as the art itself. Are you saying our time is invaluable? Oh, forgive me. Oh, let's agree to agree that all of our time is valuable. Bill, what if this is the better of the choices? Choices? I don't think this qualifies as a choice. I mean, come on. This in our kitchen, in our pleasant little nook? 
It would take the morning out of the morning. But, look, you know, poet, and I'm no fool. Are you saying that I don't have a valid opinion? I'm saying you're gumming up the works. I don't have time to play mindless games with no contempt. I mean what I say. You don't like it? I don't like it. Well, like I said, I'm not leaving here empty-handed. Oh, God. What have I done to deserve this? For Christ's sake, Bill, and this is not the end of the world. We are not summoning or making decisions that will summon the apocalypse and bring down the final curtain. It's merely to beautify our home, where we endure three meals a day, where we liquidate a uh, considerable amount of time. Endure, liquidate? This is how you define time spent with me. Look, when we first met, you see, made it seem like you possessed some kind of an artistic inclination. Now I'm not so sure. You may want to live with the horror of a blank wall, but I, for one, don't. <laughs> Believe me, I'm quickly realizing that I don't either. Well, then of course there remains but one option, and it's as plain as day. Why, of course. You shall have nothing. What? No, you both, yes, you both worked hard to get what you deserve. You have turned my place of sanctity into a den of domestic depravity. You have upended my every intent at artistic vitality and laid waste to all of my better efforts. Well, now look, sister, we didn't mean all that. Well, then what on God's green earth did you mean exactly? Oh, what we meant was, oh, we're in the contentious thrones of choice, and you know the world is hard, tough to the core. And what you saw was some uh, uh, brutal thinking out loud. That's all. And you assure me that's all there was to it. That's all there was to it. Well, I see. Well, then we still have one option less. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I consider this to be my most favorable piece, the best for last. It is our final vestige of hope in this calamitous meeting. Oh, Bill, I'm so excited. Oh, hold your horses, Hilda. It's not going anywhere. Oh, yes. The anticipation does make the heart grow fonder. Yeah, and gets the blood pressure up. Uh, just show <laughs> us what you have. Oh, without further ado, <coughs> this, is, this is it. The moon, the stars, the sun, heaven is all its glory. So you say. Cor correct. We find ourselves at that last, almost unbearable second of anticipation. <sighs> what are you, some kind of a sick game player, sister? Are, are you starting with me again? No, no. In fact, I applaud any forward motion that would get this thing done. Get this thing done. This, it is not to get this thing done. It's to unveil a masterpiece. Let's do it then. Well, as you say, let's do it again. Do it then. Uh, Bill, I, 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 I love it. Oh, I put that music to my ears. I just ears. really love it. <laughs> There's something uncannily familiar about it. You don't say that. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, I must say it was a little premonition. <laughs> Well, imagine this in our kitchen. And she is right. It will bring in the morning sun. It will grasp that morning star and throw it and thrust it into our lives. It will truly make our house a home. I thought it already was. Oh no. It is with this piece that it finally will be. It is perfect. It is the one. I must have it. <laughs> oh yes, the indisputable success from all levels, from all vantage points, from all corners of the world. Oh. 
Bill, isn't it wonderful? Isn't it just a wonderful painting? It changes everything, doesn't it? Bill, you're not saying anything. Isn't it just the perfect painting? Isn't it everything we ever wanted? Bill, are you all right? Is something wrong? Isn't the painting that overwhelming? It will stay with us forever, won't it? Bill? I want it out of my house. <laughs> I want it out of my house right now. Thank <laughs> you.